In some ways I think the Ducati X Diavel is going to be far too much of a performance bike for some in the cruiser market. It's very very fast and quite firmly sprung but rarely harsh. If you've always liked the idea of a cruiser but were never prepared to put up with the performance, handling and braking compromises most entailed, then the X Diavel is perhaps perfect for you. The X Diavel is a revelation for the cruiser market in terms of the handling prowess, available performance and the full complement of technology as standard. It's blisteringly quick has masses of torque for easy riding, looks amazing and has the right feet forward and belt drive components for the class. It has become the bike the original Diavel probably always should have been. Along the way the X Diavel won a number of design accolades including the prestigious Red Dot Award. Ducati were the first to blur the lines between sports, naked and cruiser with the original Diavel back in 2011, and then they went further still with the X Diavel in 2016 which was longer, lower and even more cruiser, yet sacrificed none of the performance. Ducati have teamed up with fancy furniture firm Poltrona Frau to create the X Diavel Nera. A stylish take on the Bologna Company's 158 bhp muscle cruiser, limited to 500 units. Wrapped in a new black-on-black -black paint job that blends gloss and matte finishes, each bike features a soft seat made of Pell Frau leather that's available in five color options. Although mechanically unchanged from the rest of the X Diavel lineup, the Nera costs an eye-watering £25,895 some £7,900 more than the X Diavel Dark. Available from March 2022. Each owner will also receive an exclusive key ring and document holder made of the same color matched material as the seat. There's also the option to equip a back rest and you can opt for a wider comfort saddle if you wish. Available in your choice of Siam Red, Steel Blue, Cemento, India or Selva. Each 755mm seat is also decorated with a series of X's as a tribute to the model name. Owners can also order an exclusive open face awry helmet, finished in a mixture of red, grey and black. Away from optional extras, the front Brembo calipers and engine head covers have also been finished in glossy Ducati red, with the machined forged rims coated in gloss black. Elsewhere you'll find the bike's trademark chunky 240mm rear tire, suite of lean-sensitive electronics, color TFT dash and feet forwards riding position. I was initially a little hesitant in pushing on any harder because I wrongly assumed the long wheelbase and raked out front wheel was going to make the bike unwieldy and hard to steer but in reality it's nothing of the kind and you can still push hard on that front Pirelli tire and have direct knowledge of what's going on. On the move that length just never becomes an issue, it still handles, goes and stops like a real Ducati and the new 1262cc version of the Testistretta V-Twin has thumping torque to make riding on the road easy. Combined with the shove from the engine. The ferocious braking power from those Brembo M50 calipers on the S model and the decent 40-degree lean angle on offer. This is a cruiser that can still deliver great handling with all the cool you could ask for. The 1262cc, 156bhp V-twin installed in the X Diavel is essentially a new engine when compared directly to the Diavel or Multistrada 1200 DVT. The 1262 DVT motor produces peak power of 153bhp at a lowly 5000 revolutions per minute. The torque peaks at 95 FTLB but it produces 72 FTLB at just 2000 revolutions per minute. The engine has the desmodromic valve timing system first seen on the Multistrada 1200 DVT last year. The hydraulic variable valve timing system has been designed to take the lumpiness and piston slap out of the motor, smooth off the revs low down and make low speed riding more comfortable. While the hardware of the DVT system remains the same, the way it has been programmed to work has been retuned for the X Diavel. It's the same 1262cc, 90-degree V-twin with desmodromic valve control as before, 
Ducati have cleaned it up to meet Euro 5 emissions regulations though which means a new exhaust system. They have also managed to find more oomph, increasing torque a smidge to 93.7 pound-feet and pushing peak power up by 8 horses to 158 bhp at 9500 revolutions per minute. It's difficult to appreciate a difference. The extra output is like putting a few more hundreds and thousands on an already fully loaded trifle, especially as the V-twin is tuned for low rev grunt and rarely needs more than a tease of the light twist grip. It's an explosive engine, responding immediately, accelerating viciously and more than capable of rotating the long chassis over backwards, yet it can potter too with light controls and a smoothness that juttery old big twins could once only dream of.